Hi, my name's Alastair Evanson, and I'm the Solution Director for Visim here at PTB Group. Now, I've been using micro simulation to model traffic for around 10 years, and during that time, I've had many friends who have asked me, what is it that you do? So what does micro simulation modeling mean to me? Well, if you ask my wife when she captures a glimpse of a model running on my computer, I play on computer games. She believes mainly SimCity, and I'm sure that a lot of you have had similar experiences when colleagues have walked around an office and looked at your monitors. But actually, how far from the truth is it? We use micro simulation to plan, evaluate, and optimize our entire transport networks. So is it really the real world application of SimCity or the science behind the concept? PTV Group represents the mind of movement, and for me this is embodied by microsimulation because its power is that it can help us simulate pretty much anything that moves. I've met and spoken to modelers all around the world who use microsimulation to model not only vehicles, pedestrians and cyclists, but also trains, trams, aeroplanes, boats, and all the operations that go along with them. Recently, something that we are seeing more and more requests for is simulating autonomous vehicles and the impacts they can have on the choice of transport mode and also our transport infrastructure. So with micro simulation, we really are modeling anything that moves, regardless of the type of vehicle or its location. And that location is a really important thing because another key feature of micro simulation is being able to tailor the vehicle movements to the environment that you are modeling. Now this is where micro sim differs from other types of modeling because it's visual. You are watching the vehicles as they move through a network and you can influence individually how they behave in a lot more detail. For me, micro simulation is about mapping a network, but in an incredibly detailed way, creating a virtual representation of an environment, wherever that might be in the world, and then simulating the complex decisions and behaviors of how vehicles interact with each other. We know that vehicles don't drive the same in parts of Asia as they do in Europe or in the US, or that even the types of vehicles that are on the road in those countries can vary. Being able to calibrate or replicate the individual local conditions of where you're modeling is a really important thing and something that is not available in all methods of modeling. As well as replicating vehicle movements, MicroSim allows you to take into account what is in this virtual environment or urban landscape. It can model faster than real time so it can be used to plan, optimize the operation, effectiveness, and design of many smart technologies which adapt to varying traffic conditions. Because it is visual and because it is detailed, it allows people to see and understand the movement of traffic, what's causing the problems, and what needs to be done to improve the situation. People can access traffic engineering concepts because they can relate to what they are seeing on the screen, they see a traffic queue in a model and recognize how long that queue is from their own journeys in the location. But the benefit is that it's just not an animation or a video. It's also providing sound engineering results that are based on sound scientific behaviors. Results which identify the problem and then can be used to quantify the benefit of any interventions. This is important because it can save money. Undertaking an assessment in a virtual environment helps iron out many design issues before construction, or it can help even identify an alternative solution which may well be cheaper. It's a level of detail that a well-calibrated micro-simulation model provides which gives certainty to our decisions. Micro-simulation is about building up layers and layers of interconnected detail in order to replicate what's occurring now and use that to predict what will happen in the future. So yes, maybe micro simulation is like a real world application of SimCity, and that's okay, because we can always tweak and enhance our models as our cities change and grow. So, what does micro simulation mean to me? Well, it's an enabler. It brings together so many different topics, from technology to movement to development analyzing and visualizing many interrelated aspects of a city. And this is why it has such an important role in the future. As technology moves forward and new and exciting vehicles and concepts are introduced to our urban environments, we always need that reassurance that MicroSim provides of how to plan and optimize everything that moves. 
Thanks very much for listening, and I hope to see you soon.